In this video, we will show you the basic information you will need to make a video recording for our department. We film a variety of classes and events on campus, and it is important that each member of our staff understands the basic operations of video recording. Camera setups include a Sony HD video camera and Manfrotto tripod. Inside the camera case, you will find various accessories in addition to the camera. These include the power cable, extra batteries, a small wireless transmitter box with a receiver which connects to the camera, and a transmitter which connects to the sound system and headphones, which allow you to listen to the audio that is actually being recorded and not what is coming through the speakers in the room. Before we continue with camera functions, first set up the tripod. Unzip the tripod bag and remove the tripod. On the bottom of the tripod, there are two latches, which when released, extend the tripod legs in two sections. First release each of the three lower leg latches and extend the lower portion of the tripod legs and close the latches to secure. Now release the upper leg latches to extend the upper portion of the tripod legs and close to secure. By pulling each leg out to its full extension, the top of the tripod should be level. Sometimes the floor is uneven and you may have to adjust one or more leg extensions in order for the tripod to be level. Loosen the knob on the side of the tripod to adjust the tilt of the tripod head. Loosen the inside knob to adjust the ability to pan left and right, or tighten all the way for a static shot where the camera does not move side to side at all. Loosen the knob between the top of the legs to extend the neck of the tripod. This extension is useful when you need to shoot over people's heads, but does limit the stability of the camera, so only use when necessary. On the top of the tripod, there is a quick release plate. To release the plate, flip the locking gold lever and release latch to pop out the quick release plate, which has a screw and set pin. Corresponding to the quick release plate, the underside of the camera has a screw hole and set pin hole. Matching the screw and set pin, place the quick release plate into the corresponding holes and lift the handle to screw the plate securely into the camera. Be careful to not over tighten. Fold the handle back inside the quick release plate. Now, place the camera with the quick release plate attached to the tripod. Direct the front of the quick release plate in first, then lower the back of the plate down onto the gold pin, which will lock the lever into place. With the camera secured to the tripod, we can now discuss camera operations. To insert a battery into the camera, place the battery in the back of the camera and slide downwards until the battery clicks into place. To release the battery, press the battery release button and pull the battery up and out. Whenever possible, use the power cable in the camera case so that you do not have to worry about running out of battery power. On the back of the camera, identify the DC in jack cover. Lift the cover and attach the power cable. Now take your headphones and attach them in the headphone jack labeled by the headphone symbol on the cover.
Lastly, open the camera lens cap and power on the camera. Above the power button is the zoom control, which you use to frame your shot. The cameras we use record to a secure digital SD card. Before recording, make sure that the SD cards are in place and that there is enough card capacity for the length of the recording. Now, open the viewfinder. Overlaid on the camera image is a screen with various information, including timestamp, SD card capacities, audio levels, channels 1 and 2, recording format, we typically record at HD 1080 60i, high quality, a green standby indicator, which will change to a red record when you begin recording. and return to standby when you are finished recording. In addition to the red record button on the right side of the camera, inside the power control, there is another record button at the top of the camera. The majority of the camera controls are at the side of the camera. Keep the camera in autofocus unless you are having trouble keeping your image focused. To access the menu, there are two menu buttons, one at the side of the camera with navigation controls to the left, and one at the top, with navigation controls to the right. The primary settings that you will need to modify are the audio settings. Though the camera has a decent built-in microphone, its susceptibility to noise in the immediate vicinity means that we usually connect the audio feed from the sound system in the room to the inputs at the side of the camera using an XLR cable. The input controls for changing the inputs between mic and line level are at the rear of the input connections. The individual audio level controls are at the side of the camera. Here you can switch your two audio channels from the internal mic to input 1 or input 2 Switch the level from automatic, where the camera decides for you, to manual, where the level corresponds to the number dial. The channel 2 level controls are only used if you have two different audio inputs. So usually the two are linked so that changing channel 1 automatically adjusts channel 2 as well. Don't get too hung up on audio. In most cases, there will be an XLR feed directly from the sound system in the room, in which case set channel 1 to input 1, set to manual, and then carry out a sound check with a member of our staff. In some cases, because of the limitations of the room, we cannot run a wired XLR cable from the sound system directly into the camera. This is what we use the wireless transmitter for. The transmitter will need to be connected directly to a sound system, or in some cases a single microphone, and the receiver will be connected to one of the inputs on the camera. When using the transmitters, always seek out experienced help and allow plenty of time to sound check. There are many other settings available on our cameras and with time you will experience other situations which will require these settings to optimize the image. But for now, remember the basics. Level tripod, connect power, check SD cards, adjust audio, and sound check. Sometimes, for simple classroom recordings, we use Canon Mini HD camcorders, which are smaller, lighter, and more simple to operate. Inside the Canon bag is a power cable, extra battery, battery charger, and HDMI cable. The power button and zoom are located at the top of the camera. These camcorders have a single SD card, which can only record about an hour of footage at the highest quality. 
These cameras are designed for fast setups and should be set to autofocus and automatic audio levels from the built-in microphone. To access the menu, press the home button. To remove the battery, slide the battery release button to the left and pull the battery down. To attach the battery, slide the battery up until it clicks into place. The DC power in is located at the rear of the camera. The record button is on the other side of the battery. Like our larger production cameras, the Canon Mini HD camcorders also feature quick-release plate set pin and screw holes for use with our tripods.